Can you read to me the nameplate? Judge Ebony K. Williams. So the only thing that matters in this particular courtroom is how I see it. I am from North Carolina by way of Louisiana with some West Coast cool and a New York edge. Do we have a problem, ma'am? No, I don't, Your Honor. Equal justice is all about the most important values of our country, freedom, integrity, and those are the things that I'm striving for. Ma'am, you run your household. This man gets to run his. I decided to become an attorney and pursue the law. I wanted to be a voice for the voiceless. This court can not hold this woman accountable. People from all sectors of life, black, white, purple, gay, straight, queer, and that's what Equal Justice with Judge Ebony K. Williams is all about. Jenny Sim claimed she was injured after her roommate's sister shoved her during an argument. Carrie and Melissa Smith say the plaintiff was pushed away after she damaged Carrie's phone. The Smiths are countersuing for $251.28. Hello, ladies. I see I've got Jenny Sim here as my plaintiff and two defendants, Melissa and Carrie Smith. I see, Ms. Sim, you are suing for $430, and then I see the defendants are countersuing for $251.28. Ms. Sim, why are we in court today? Hello, Your Honor. So we're here today because I am suing for the $430 that I accumulated in medical bills. Mm. Um, I was living with the defendant, Melissa, for a while, and then her sister, Carrie, moved in. And basically, one night we had an argument, and Carrie came in and pushed me. I sprained my wrist, and the $430 is the emergency room visit bill. So you two had a fight. We, Melissa and I were arguing, and then Carrie stepped in in the middle to do what? I don't know. Okay, who's Melissa and who's Carrie? I'm Melissa. You're I'm Melissa, Carrie. and you're Carrie. Okay, so you're, you said Carrie Yes, Your is, Honor. Is who you're alleging Miss Sim put her hands on you? Carrie put her hands on me, yes. Okay, so tell me the context. First of all, how do you know these two ladies? How long had you lived with the first? All of that. So, Melissa and I met in college through some mutual friends. We were okay. in a mutual friend group. Okay. Um, we weren't the closest friends, but we were in a friend group. Mm -hmm. And then after college... Were you real friends, Miss Sim, or were you frenemies? We weren't frenemies, <laughs> okay. no. I, I mean, didn't have anything... Giving, it was giving I mean, frenemy vibes, right? <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> okay. now okay. it's... <laughs> okay, okay, Miss Sim, so I'm, I'm going to stay um, with you. Go ahead. Um, so we weren't the closest of friends, but we were friends. Okay. I didn't, I mean, from what I knew of her, I seemed, it seemed like she'd be a compatible roommate. Okay. And so this we, is after graduation? Yes. Okay. Um, a little bit after. Mm -hmm. Um, and so we moved in together and it was great. She was a compatible roommate. Mm -hmm. Paid um, her bills on time? Yes. That's the most yeah. important part. The most part important of, That's the most important part of a compatible roommate, <laughs> so, so that we're clear. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. She mm -hmm. wasn't the perfect roommate, but mm -hmm. it was compatible. Mm -hmm. Um, and then her sister, Carrie, moved in so Melissa and I were living together for a year and it was fine and then Carrie moved in for just a few months three mm -hmm. months and and did she move into her own meaning was this a three-bedroom unit or did Carrie move it yes yes okay because I, so, I didn't know if she moved in with her sister like in the room with oh her sister no. okay. Melissa and I had it was a three-bedroom just she and I had but yeah. we had that extra the spare room for, as a guest room got it and then extra storage just <clears throat> okay so then Carrie moves in and occupies that room and she's also paying so now the bills are split three ways no, she's not paying okay tell me more so um, she, so when we first discussed it, it was just going to be temporary. Okay. Like we're just helping, g giving her a place to stay while she was in between jobs. Oh, for free. Yeah. And you agreed to that. Yes, because okay, I'm just I didn't. Being clear. I didn't expect it to be for as long as it was. Like, what did you expect it to be, ma'am? We didn't discuss how long she would be there. Okay, continue. Um, but for my, the thing that we did discuss is that it was quote temporary mm -hmm. while she's in between jobs. Okay. So I'm thinking like a month at the most, not three months. At the very, at, I mean, at the most, like I hope you would get a job within a month if you're really being proactive and applying every single day and not just trying to mooch off your sister okay. and her her roommate. Okay. And what did her presence in the prop on the property rather do to the living harmony? Disrupted it. Okay. Tell me specifically how. Um, so, I, Melissa and I. Like I said, it was a, it, the arrangement was fine before she got there. For the first year? Yes. You, you two were together. Okay, go ahead. Um, the only issue I had, if it was really an issue, was that I was doing a little bit more when it came to responsibilities around the household. Mm -hmm. Cleaning, you know, cleaning pretty much. Yeah. Um, and I, under, I, I understand that I have a different standard than most people. So 
I was doing a little bit more around the house, basically. Okay. And then, and I was okay with that. It was just like one other person I was doing a little bit more when it came, like I was cleaning up but after. But once Carrie came in, let me guess, you started doing a whole lot more. Oh yeah, and there was just more to do, basically. Well, that's what happens when a third grown person moves into a residence. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I wasn't, like when I was cleaning up after Melissa, it's not like I'd go and put her dishes away. Like she was fine well, with Well, were you doing that for Carrie? No, okay. but I would have to deal with seeing all that stuff around the apartment which I never had to really deal with when it was just me and Melissa. Okay, so this happens for three months. At what point does the confrontation occur? August 1st, so on that, and so it was pretty much, she was there for three months, we had our fight, and then she was gone. Talk about the fight, ma'am. Let's get to why we're here. Carrie and Melissa stayed home one night, having a girls' night in, whatever, and then I went out that night. When I got home in the morning, it was a mess, and before this, before this night, mm -hmm. there had been many instances where I spoke to Melissa and was like, letting her know that I was, I was upset with how things were. Coming up on Equal Justice. I was like, what is this? What does you that know? mean? You popped off. What did you, you, I, you I, cussed her out? You yelled at her? What did you I, say? I wouldn't say I cussed her out, but I cussed at her. If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6870. This is Equal Justice. Equal Justice is back with the case of Jenny Sim, who blames Carrie and Melissa Smith for her injured wrist. Okay, and then what happened? So I came home to the biggest mess I had seen. And after the months of me talking to Melissa about how I felt with what... What did you do, Miss Sim? Stop beating around the bush. What did you do? I, I pretty much popped off on her. I like went off. I was like, what is this? What does you that know? mean? You popped off. What did you, you, I, what did you I, cussed her out? You yelled at her? What did you say? I wouldn't say I cussed her out, but I cussed at her. So you cussed her out. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I mean, I came home really, I was not, I'm coming home at 8 o'clock in the morning and it's a mess. Okay, so you cussed her out and how did she respond? She, let's, let's move it along. she got upset and loud too, so now we're just in the living room yelling at each other. Okay. Pretty much, yeah, we're just yelling, I'm upset with her about the mess, I'm telling, I'm saying So like, why are you suing for $430? Because there's, there's no, it's not against the law to yell. Okay, so then Carrie comes out of her room mm -hmm. and gets in the middle of it and long story short, pushes me. It's long, me. no, it's not short, Miss okay. Miss, Miss Sam, it's long, it's long story long. It is and a long story. And I'm trying story. to get to long okay. story short. Okay, so she pushed me and I, I fell and I, I sprained my wrist when I broke my fall. I was, Carrie pushed you? Yes. She okay. got right, literally right in between us, mm -hmm. and then pushed me, and I hit the ground, like I said, and, and you sprained my wrist. Okay, now go ahead and um, please proffer up to my bailiff here any receipts of medical expenses. Thank you. No, the whole folder, folder please, oh, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. Let's see here. I see general procedures from a hospital. You had, of course, get an x-ray and non-surgical treatment, uh, all totaling uh, actually quite a lot. But fortunately, you do have some insurance coverage that ate into some of it, but you still had to come out of pocket $430. Okay, so you have paid and settled this bill, ma'am? You've paid this? It's, um, it's in collections. Oh, okay. So you are depending on my ruling in your favor today to, to settle up your bill. Mm, okay. All right, um, let's see, uh, before I read these text messages, let me finally hear from the, the co-defendants here. Uh, Melissa, is she categorizing the um, room, uh, roommate situation accurately? You two were college friends, mm -hmm. sort of. Yes, Your Honor. You decided to cohabitate together to make yes. the, the bills make sense. First year went pretty well, and then at some point you asked if your sister Carrie could stay temporarily while she found a job? Yes. Okay, and, and then what happened? Um, I thought things were Still going well. I was really excited to have my sister around. We'd invited Jenny to attend some of the sister nights with us. Mm -hmm. um, she wasn't partaking. You said but sister nights? Yeah. I'm curious. What's a sister night? <laughs> I gotta know. I gotta know. It's what a sister night. night. Yeah, we pick a romantic comedy and we get wine and snacks and all the blankets yeah. and cushions and we just veg out in our pajamas. Yes. Okay. Well, now we know what a sister night is. <laughs> okay. So now it's a sister night and mm -hmm. then what happens? Yes. So we did leave our things out over the night. Um, we had 
some blankets out, wine glasses, definitely snacks. Mm -hmm. It was late, we decided to go to bed, Jenny wasn't home. I woke up the next morning to go get a glass of water. Mm -hmm. Jenny storms through the door, starts yelling at me, saying everything needed to be picked up. I said, okay, I can get on it, but I don't know why you're coming in so aggressive toward me. Mm -hmm. It wakes up Carrie, she comes mm -hmm. out, gets in the middle of it, and what Jenny forgot to mention in her statement is that she knocked Carrie's phone out of her hand mm -hmm. First, mm -hmm. it fell onto the floor, shattered to the screen, and out of a pure reaction of defense, that is when Carrie led to pushing her away. Mm -hmm. But now, Carrie, why were you in it? Well, I woke up from sleeping, mm -hmm. heard terrible screaming and mm -hmm. cussing, and I came out and saw her up in my sister's face, and so I was going to figure out what was going on. I wanted to like defend her. I wanted to figure out what was going on. I didn't... Mm -hmm. I didn't know that mm -hmm. she was upset about the mess. Okay. It was early in the morning and mm -hmm. we had plans to get up in the morning, have breakfast and then clean things up. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, things escalated. I I stepped in the middle of the two of them because mm -hmm. they got really close to each other. Hindsight, I probably shouldn't have because mm -hmm. the rest took place, but mm -hmm. I, I thought I was defending my sister. So you thought your sister was in peril. <clears throat> yeah. You step in to defuse the situation, but end up getting your phone. Yeah. So what, was it slapped I, out of your I hand? I just had my phone in my hand. Right. I was talking very expressively. She... Expressively or aggressively? Expressively. Okay, let's be clear. Because okay. I mm -hmm. was just trying to figure out what was going on and also try to like create space between the two of us. Mm -hmm. um, Jenny then overreacted, smacked my well, phone Well, that's your categorization. Me. Go ahead. Jenny... Mm -hmm swung her arm mm -hmm. and it hit my phone and it fell and shattered the screen. Okay. Which is when the rest took place. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to collect a receipt because I'm sure you have a receipt to show me that. Yes, Your Honor. Go ahead and give that to my bailiff. Thank you. Thank you. Let's look at the cost of this uh, alleged phone damage here. I do see a cracked screen replacement. I mean, at this point, you must want to buy a new phone uh, because that was two hundred and fifty-one dollars um, and twenty-eight cent, and you have paid for this, ma'am. Yes, I have. Oh, is, is it in collections? It's <laughs> already been. That's the first paid I heard for. that one. Okay. Um, <laughs> it so has this, already been paid for. So you're looking for reimbursement yes. if I find in your favor today. Yes. Okay. Coming up on Equal Justice. That's that's a harmful or offensive touching of another. Unless, did you invite the push, ma'am? No, ma'am. Okay. But so didn't she also assault me by hitting my hand with my phone? This is Equal Justice. Equal Justice is back with the case of Jenny Sim, who blames Carrie and Melissa Smith for her injured wrist. So my question is, you come into this dispute, which is elevated. Yes. Your thinking is to defend your sister. Yes, ma'am. You have your phone in your hand. You say that the plaintiff here swats at it, mm -hmm. knocks it out, it's damaged, and you have to replace it. Yes. But then, you admit, Carrie, that at some point you do put your hands on this woman. Yes, kind of. Was that of in retaliation? All... No, tell the court the truth. Mm -hmm. Was that in retaliation? Or were you upset that your phone at this point is damaged and now you're pushing her in retaliation? Or how do you end up pushing her? It happens sort of as a reaction to my phone um, being knocked out of my hand. It happened just about simultaneously. Mm -hmm. um, my phone fell. I swing swung back and mm -hmm. then she, we have a coffee table that was very very close to her mm -hmm. she tried to move around it mm -hmm. was off balance mm -hmm. and that's why she fell she wasn't falling because i am i'm not like, even really concerned with her fall her. to be candid with you ma'am i'm more concerned mm -hmm. with you putting your hands on her and propelling her physically in that direction because mm -hmm. table or no table that once that contact was there that's an assault that's, mm -hmm. that's a harmful or offensive touching of another. Unless, did you invite the push, ma'am? No, ma'am. Okay. But so didn't that... she also assault me by hitting my hand with my phone? You didn't tell me she hit your hand with your phone. You told me that you came into the dispute mm -hmm. trying to protect your sister's positioning mm -hmm. and that your phone was swatted away. Okay, I'll be more specific. She hit my phone out of my hand. Okay. It looked like an attack. Oh. It felt like an attack. Okay, well, as well, I would expect you to say that, ma'am. Coming up on Equal Justice. You said you were like this. I went like this. As in, you did get out. I'm sorry, like, sister, get out, you, go you, away. Can you demonstrate one more time again? Thank you. Okay. This is Equal Justice. Equal Justice is back with the case of Jenny Sim, who blames Carrie and Melissa Smith for her injured wrist. 
Did you swat her phone out of her hand? I was I was waving my arms to just get her away from me. Like she can't, like I said, she got right into the middle of us. So I'm like, get away from me. And when I did this, mm -hmm. my hand mm -hmm. hit her hand, her phone, whatever. But you're telling this court under sworn oath, you swore all swore, these folks in, right? Swore all of yes. them in. Your okay, so uh, Jenny, you're telling me that you did not intend to hit her phone or or did you? Did you no, really? No, I did not intend to have her phone land on the ground, touch it at did all. Did you even see her phone? I, I'm, I, I... Were you aware that the cell phone was in the mix between all of you three ladies having this argument? Probably not. Yes, she said, get that out of my face. I said, get out of my face. She's, like, I'm in the middle of arguing with her sister. It's heated. I'm not going to be paying attention to what she's holding when she comes up to me. Like, literally, it's just she's right in the middle of my mm -hmm. face immediately. Like, no, somebody's definitely lying because you're saying that she said, get that thing out of my face. So yes, you're saying she had acute awareness yes. that a cell phone was at play. But you are saying, Jenny, that you had no such awareness and that the whole thing was a blur and you were just trying to defend yourself. I know for sure I said, get out of my face. Mm -hmm. If I said, get that thing out of my face, like it would be her phone in my face. But it well, was, that's what she's saying, she was in my face. Oh, okay. Literally, it's her face, my face, Jenny's face right behind close. her head. And okay. she's saying she was being expressive with her as she's talking, like, are you really, like, talking like this? You like, just said you were doing that. You said, said you were doing like I said I went like this. As in, you did get both. out. Sorry, like, sisters, get out, you, go you, away. Can you demonstrate one more time again? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Okay, ladies, listen, I think I've heard enough here. Uh, long story long, and I'm ready to rule. Judge Ebony's verdict when equal justice returns. This is Equal Justice. When you have a signed contractual roommate agreement, as you had with Melissa Smith here, you have to abide by those terms and conditions yourself. So you say, okay, little sis can come stay for a while, but you, as to your own admission, to this court, ma'am, did not specify your expectation of what temporary meant. So therefore, this court does not feel like three months for a job search is extensive. What is not reasonable, though, Carrie Smith, Mm -hmm. is deciding to voluntarily insert yourself into an altercation, which could at any moment gotten physical between them, mm -hmm. but then you brought your phone into the line of fire. You chose to do that. Nobody made you bring your cell phone into that. So therefore, your claim of $251.28 to your phone rather being damaged, this court will not recognize it. So your counterclaim is dismissed. Now let's get to the primary claim, ma'am. Uh, you are suing for $430 for fees associated with your wrist and your hospital bills and your physical injury. The court does feel that you also invited some level of harm. When you, as you admit it, popped off, you can't then control what the reaction is back to you. Therefore, I'm very sad that you were injured. I'm very happy that you seem to be in good physical condition today, but the $430 you incurred is your fault. Therefore, the plaintiff's case is also dismissed. That is my ruling. Judge Ebony has ruled. Both cases are dismissed. Any final words for each other? You know, after you guys moved out, I got a cat, and he leaves litter everywhere, and he's still cleaner than you guys. Congratulations, sweetie. Wish you all the best, Jenny. Good okay. riddance. Okay, you better enjoy your, your day in court. Please follow me. This has been a production of Allen Media Group.